Hi guys, first I want to thank you uh, Bill Carwell for uh, providing us this document. Um, today I'm going to set up the Mobus S485 for Hunyan GT Series 2.2 kilowatt VFD and spindle. Um, here's the VFD box of the GT series first you gotta open the the front and there's a jumper for RS485 it's J7 um, right there J7 and here's the jumper so you gotta open and verify is there a jumper on the bottom and there's a pin on the top. So make sure the jumper is on the bottom and leave out one pin on the top. As you see closely. Yep, some um, VFD box, the pin could be opposite. So make sure the jumper is on the bottom and lift one pin on the top. Okay. Let me close this. Bear with me guys. I'm um, holding the phone and do this at the same time. It's kind of hard. So. Holy crap. Here's the document from Bill Caldwell. Um, he and I was talking on email, and he's helping me a lot to uh, enable enable this Mobus RS487 GT series. Um, so, after you verify that jumper, and um, you need to connect this. This is the USB for the RS-485. I got it from Amazon. And it will work fine too. Okay. Um, either way, this one doesn't have the ground wires to plug. It only have the, um, the RXD plus and minus um, okay now what you're gonna do is programming that VFD box um, And his document doesn't show much about it, but here I go deeper onto it. Oh, uh, this is what I got. Open. I will provide this to you guys so you can f program in your VFD. It's all the um parameters right here okay it's what it's gonna do PO set zero PO one two for RS 485 P003 set your VFD frequency output for it uh 
400, 400 Herc. Same thing as base. P005. Set zero. P006. Sets 400. That's for the uh, uh, frequency to um, using the keypad. 400 Herc. Okay, now you're setting 4007, which is the communications to the RS485 enable. Set to 7. And now you go back and go to P2. P2. It's to set your spindle spec uh, specifications, specifications of your spindle. Okay, so P201 is your spindle kilowatt. Point two. I have a point two kilowatt spindle, so I set. 2.2 kilowatt. So okay. I got 0.2, yeah. So and P202, 400 watt, 400 hertz frequency of the spindle. Three 24k RPM. To a 20 volt spindle, and my spindle is 10 amp current rate. So you gotta know all that. You gotta know all your spindle specifications. Um, now you go to PC Group Series for OS 485 communications. PC. Okay, so what, based on the menu saying that PCOO, PC00 is your local address of your USB, so you need to use it on, what I have is PCC00 is set to 1. Okay, set to one, see? P00 set to one. Now go to P001. My bar rate is set to 19,200. Based on the manual, say set number four is equal to 19,200. Bar rate, okay. So I select four PO2. It's your PO2 is your USB. Um, here, let me plug it in my uh. USB. Um, First, you need to go to Windows System and Control Panel and Control Panel Hardware Device and this is the one I have. Okay, when I unplug my USB, that thing will go out. Okay, when I put the back in, that thing pop up. So that's the one. So this one is said COM3. So remember that your USB is COM3. Okay, so right click properties, hardware, properties again, 
chance setting. So your setting always not the same here. So make sure you follow a uh, build Carwell's um, documents that he's showing us. See right here and Yeah, just to go through his documents and he said at 19,200 kilowatt, 200 um, bar rate and no pri priority and no an 8 bit A data and one start. So it which is 1 and 8. Okay. So back to here. Okay, back to here. So right click properties hardware property again chain setting for setting. So this is what you set on your um in your USB and your uh, V in your uh, VFD set to that and a bit and priority none and it's for none see so one hold on So it's right here, 19,200 uh, bit per second, and 8 data, 8 priority, none, which is no, and, and 1, none. Yeah, events make sure everything here okay and click OK that's how you get your USB set um, to that so what's here is let's go back to your VFD box is where you need to set your bit per second ray, which is bar ray here, is calling. You need to set PC01 set to 4, the same as whatever you set earlier on your USB COM3 port. Right there, so it's number 4. PC04. One's number four. Okay, set. And this PCO two, you set your whatever earlier eight and one of your USB. This eight and one come three if your USB. So which is zero. On your man, on your manual, say it's zero, unless there's another option underneath it. But what we set right now is zero, close to zero of your um, whatever you set on your USB. So zero. So number three now. This one is set to um, one millisecond time delay communication so so as soon as you put your um, MD, uh, MDI call out speed spindle it's act uh, it's acting like one millisecond like instead of waiting 10 minutes or 10 seconds you know so just set one 
Okay.